In this video, we are going to study about the rock field dam. It is a, a one of the type of a dam. See, basically, this rock field dam is an embankment which uses the variable sizes of a rock to provide the stability and an impervious membrane to provide a water tightness. So sometimes these rock field dams can be made up of uh, partially by it is constructed by a rigid part or sometimes it is uh, made up of a uh, partly partly or 50 percent part will be made up of with the earthen material. So the material used uh, for the membrane, the impervious membrane that are earthen, concrete, steel, asphalt and wood. So by using all any one of this material, we can construct the mem impervious membrane part which is uh, provided to provide and to protect, uh, to keep the water tightness of the uh, dam. So the principal parts of the rock field dams are as follows, that is the upstream impervious membrane resisting, you can see this diagram. See here, the upstream, here you can see Yes, here you can see upstream impervious membrane resisting on the upstream rock cushion. So here the layer is given. You can see here this part, this weight it is not working actually. This, this, this thinner part which is showing on the upstream side, this is nothing but a upstream impervious membrane. And uh, this membrane uh, is resisting on the upstream rock cushion. So basically, this impervious uh, section will be made up of uh, earthen concrete so that uh, that part and that upstream section will be a uh, watertight. Then you can see the upstream rock cushion constructed on carefully led stone bounding with main rock fill on the downstream section which is nothing but a direct lead rock, finer material uh, rested in with the water to fill all the voids. So that part will be mainly constructed with the rock cushion. Then the third principal part will be the main rock fill on the downstream side. Yes, you can see this part. This is a main rock fill on the downstream part. So this is completely made up of with the rock having uses of variable sizes so it gives the proper stability for this uh, or on the downstream section. Then the fourth component and the fourth principal part will be the upstream cutoff. Here sometimes here it is not showing here but uh, on the upstream side when we, you are going to provide the concrete is nothing but used for the construction of an impervious membrane. So once you provide this impervious membrane, uh, so here uh, sometimes the cutoff will be provided on the upstream side. So that and again it is made up of with the concrete or uh, earthen material or sometimes it is made up of a steel, asphalt or wooden. So any of the material will be used for constructing this impervious membrane. So principal parts will be our this is our first part, impervious membrane. This is our second part, which is known as the upstream rock cushion, constructed on carefully led stone bounding with a main rock fill on the downstream part. So you can see here, this is known as a direct lead rock. And in the between voids, the empty spaces that will be uh, filled up with the finer materials and by the slurry of first finer material plus water so that it uh, gives the more stability. So it is also called as a direct lead rock section. Again on the downstream side, the completely downstream section will be uh, constructed by or it is called as a mean rock fill section which is completely constructed with the variable sizes of the rock which provides the more stability and uh, cutoff which is provided on the upstream side. 
see sometimes uh, horizontal pervious zone is provided instead of a rock cushioning at the earth stream to support the impervious membrane so instead of this instead of this direct lead drop sometimes the horizontal pervious zone the hot whole part will be constructed by a pervious zone instead of this rock cushioning so uh, to protect and to give the more stability to the impervious membrane so this is the uh, section and this is the all about the parts and component parts of the rock fill tank see the water tight membrane should be constructed on the upstream slope so that it can be inspected when the reservoir is drawn down and repairs made as necessary a cut off wall should be provided along the contact of the impervious membrane with the foundation and the abutments at the upstream toe of the dam to prevent the seepage under the dam so here by uh by giving this cut off we can easily uh inspect and we can easily prevent the seepage which can be uh, comes under the foundation which can be comes into the uh, embankment section so the cut off will be uh, is very important part then the placement of the rock fill zone is one of the most important operation in the construction of a rock fill dam as it is essential to minimize total settlement and the possibility of the damage to the impervious membrane so basically this rock fill and this totally uh, main rock fill section this third part will be will have the most important uh, because it is it is it minimize the total settlement and the, it improves the uh, uh, the quality and the stability of the downstream section as well as the internal part of the embankment the rock cushioning provided at the upstream of the main rock fill acts as a cushioning in stabilizing the upstream face and equalizing the settlement so both this part is uh, correlated with each other so this part is uh, helps uh, the upstream section uh, it it gives the small stabilize uh, in the kushni uh, and it equalizes the settlement as uh, as in the rock part and the rock field dam that uh, will support and that will give on the downstream section so this type of a dam generally provided um, or recently this type of a dam will be provided see you have a certain budget and you have that much of a cost with you so you can provide the other material as well as you can use the concrete part also so here the output will be the rock fill dam so definitely this is the uh, one of the important dam you can use for the storing of a water you can use it for the distribution of the water so for any uh, for the any other purposes you can use this dam for the for the further construction or for the further purpose Thank you for the watching this video